Actually, I feel like there's a difference, but they there's the difference in the way that they can both be present. Like, unconventional means you're doing something in a way that other people are not, but you're getting the same result. And creative means you're doing something in a way that is different from other people and those are like the same thing but one of the but the other one implies that you you end up at the same place so i guess that makes sense um i, I don't know i don't know how to say it i'm, I'm bad at speaking <laughs> all right what am i trying to do here uh this looks like a great blastoise game if that's support thunderous but the fact that there's a tornadoes makes me think that that's not support thunderous and that's a little bit crazy that's that's a little crazy uh, I'm going to go Thundy Blastoise myself, though. I'm going to go Zashin in the back, and I think I have to bring my Evel Tall. Hey, thank you for the follow, Fate of Nate, with the sub. Or, for, for the follow. Thank you for the sub, Fate of Nate. I appreciate you. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm the, uh, I'm like the middle point between creative players and standard players. Like, I try to do both. I try to, like, merge the two. Okay. How much you want to bet? I'm about to ruin this man's whole day. How much you want to bet I'm going to ruin this man's whole day by having him think... That I'm about to Dynamax my Thunderous, but I'm not. Actually, I should probably... I should 100% be targeting down this guy right here. Let me go for the Rain Dance. I really hope that you are support and that you are not... Um... AV Physical. That'd be great. Oh, he's AV Physical. He's AV Physical. I should be able to live one hit Dynamaxed. Uh, the only thing is if they double into me, which they probably will. But I suppose the ideal thing here would be if they doubled into the Thunderous. But I really doubt they do. I think that they're going to at least max Lightning my Blastoise. Which, like I said, I can take one of these hits, just not both. And if I lose my, if I lose my Blastoise, it's in my best interest just to forfeit here. For the sake of time. Let's go! Alright, I should if I don't get KO'd, which I might, I should be taking away this Thunderous. If it's not AV, I'm definitely taking away this Thunderous. At the very least, I'm gonna get damage off here, I think. And then I can Thunder Wave the Zation, and then that's winnable. Alright. Live! Breathe! Breathe, Zap! <laughs> breathe, Blastoise! Breathe! <laughs> okay. Now, uh. Now, now, uh, now kill. Please. Kill. I bet you we're going to do more. If he's not AV, we're doing more than he did to us. Percentage-wise. Oh, yeah. No, that's that's that good stuff. That's that good stuff right there. Okay. Uh, I can Thunderbolt that thing. I'm going to Max Guard Thunderbolt. They can't stop me. They literally can't stop me. Actually, isn't it in my best interest to Thunder Wave here? It's probably better just to Thunder Wave here. I have a better chance of winning if I if I get this Thunder Wave off. Oh, yo? Yo? Incineroar? Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Big facts. Big facts. Um, Understandable. I definitely need to get a Thunder Wave off in that Zacian. That's the issue here. Alright, Max Lightning into the Blastoise, please. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to get faked out here. I can attempt to double protect. Yeah, double protect is optimal here. Dude, I'm so ready for contrary enam enamorous. Yeah, no, I got nothing that wants to switch in on a max lightning. So I'm going to attempt the max guard again. And I'm going to try to thunderbolt here. There's not really a reason to... Does it go down? It doesn't go down next turn, I believe. So I'm just going to thunderbolt here. I'm probably going to get faked out, though. 
All right, I'm gonna land the first max guard, double max guard of my career. I've never actually gotten one of these before. I've gotten double protects once in a while, probably less than other players, but I'm gonna get the double max guard. You just have to have confidence. I, okay, bye Blastoise. And a fake out, okay, all right, there it is. All right, goodbye. And the lightning. Now, good news is, we traded our Maximons, but I got significantly more out of this exchange than they did. Like, a lot more. Like, like a significant amount. You go down anyways? You don't go down anyways. Okay. How do I do this? Um... I think I go Zacian here. I go Zacian. And uh, my Zacian is speed crept to be faster than Thunderous. The only issue is uh, if they protect the Thunderous, but they definitely weren't AV judging by the damage I dealt to them. I think they might protect, but there's no reason to protect, to be honest. That incinder is also within play rough range. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attack. I'm literally just gonna attack. That incinder should be in play rough range, and we're in the rain. I feel good about this. Let's go. Okay, critical hit probably didn't matter. I'm adamant. Wild charge. Even that like a like a champ. Like a champ. And uh, now I got Thunder Wave to carry me through the rest of this game. Also, Eerie Impulse. That's also great. Um, what matters more, though? Because there's definitely a, a Zacian and a Kyogre in the back. Ooh, setting up that rain early might be really nice because I can just prevent the Kyogre from having rain in the late game. That's actually going to be really clean. Um... Which is better? I think a permanent Eerie... I think they're going to protect. I, I definitely think they're going to protect the Zashi in this turn. And go for like a Scarf Kyogre KO. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to protect here. And I'm going to go for the Eerie Impulse. And if I'm lucky, I might survive. Okay, they didn't protect. And I do get the Eerie Impulse off. I feel really good about this late game if I keep my... my um, if I can keep my Thunderous, I feel really good about this late game. Let's also see if they're Scarf. They're not Scarf because their Zashin went first. I might actually keep my Thunderous here. Miss. Okay, no miss. Live? Oh, you're crazy, dude. You're crazy. This Pokemon's disgusting. All right, uh, I got to hard focus this, this uh, Zashin now. 100% gotta focus all of my efforts on the Zacian. Uh, let's go for the Behemoth Blade, because I can 1v1 that thing with my uh, AV Veltal now. Thunder Wave into Behemoth Blade. This Thunder Wave's super important. Make sure I don't get one shot uh, on my E Veltal before I can attack. All right, I got my Thunder Wave off. I should win. Like, everything is going in my favor at this point. Including this full para? Question mark? Or the crit? Question mark? Okay, not, not full crit, or not full para. Probably. All right, why do I feel like that does less than the Origin Pulse would? All right, uh, I win by spamming Snarl now. That shouldn't KO me due to my extreme bulk. Due to my thick boy nature. Due to my thick fella energy. Dude, I'm sorry to hear about that hard. Okay. And I can lock down this endgame pretty effectively by going for play rough on the Kyogre. And sucker punching this guy. Guarantee I go first. Just getting rid of them. They protect it. That's fine. I still get the play rough off. That's all that matters.
Nice. Uh, and now both of them are in range of Snarl. Miss. Augers. I win. Please make that a t-shirt. Well, make make what a t-shirt? I'm, I'm forgetting what I said. Okay. Uh, yeah, now we just Behemoth Blade you. Sucker Punch you. And that's always a win. Actually, there's not even a reason to Sucker Punch Dark Pulse. No, there is a reason to Sucker Punch. I actually don't know if you're faster than me. Alright, good game. Alright. Behemoth Blade, Sucker Punch, they have no way of avoiding this attack. Regardless of what they do, they lose this turn. Thank you, Cindy. Richie rating 16, 19, so it should be a real team. Oh, okay. Uh, this looks like... It kind of reminds you of, like, Gen 7 Kyogre Tornadus. But instead of, um... But instead of, like, a Xerneas on this sort of team, you have a Zacian, which is kind of funny. Or whatever the heck they ran next to Kyogre back then. I, I'm blinking. I know Evil Ogre was a thing. Evil Tall Kyogre was a thing for a while. Um, how do I feel about this? I haven't faced a Sun team in a minute, dude. This looks like actually a pretty rough matchup for me. Definitely like my Evelto here. Evelto looks like it's going to go crazy. I can go Incineroar. Zacian. Uh, the question is Thunderous, Kamo, or Blastoise. I think I get a lot of value out of Thunderous, but it could be hard stuffed by the Raichu. If there wasn't a Raichu, this would be a lot better of a matchup for me. Hopefully my opponent doesn't recognize that and just lets me win. Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, Amoongus. Um, Alright, let's see what happens first. Drizzle. Okay, Dark Aura went first, so they're not Scarfed. Honestly, this makes me want to... The question is, are they going to protect? Also, the fact that I'm faster than them with my Eveltal, despite not... Oh, no, I do have a lot of speed investment. What am I saying? I always forget how much speed investment I have on this dude. Okay. Um, If there's Sash, this is going to be really bad for me. I think this is... I, this is honestly worth getting rid of immediately. Controversial play. I'm going to Flare Blitz. I'm not even going to fake out. I just want to get rid of it. Okay. Yeah, that... Seems like it's going to work out in my favor. Especially if they protected the the uh, the Kyogre here. Especially if they did that. That's why I didn't fake out. Because I'm like, okay. Uh, Flare Blitz, if like a Zashin comes in. If anything comes in, like that's worth it. Like if I'm, if I'm going to fake out that slot anyways, I might as well Flare Blitz. Let's go! Okay, they're gonna be big mad if this KOs. Which it probably will. Oh yeah, no, they lost their tornado. Unless it's Citrus Berry, they lost their Tornado's privileges. I think Focus Sash Amoongus is my least favorite set in the history of Pokemon, and here's why. Amoongus was not made to be sashed. The stats on that thing scream, please, please make me bulky, in the world 
shut their ears. They said, no. You will eat the plus three max airstream. And Amoongus is like, but father, I want to be bulky. And they're like, no. You will be a Tailwind Spore Focus Ash Amoongus. Okay. Now that they know my intentions, are they going to Spore? Yes. <laughs> yes, they are. I really hope they didn't protect here. If I get rid of this Amoongus, this game's over. You didn't protect. You rage powdered. I told you. I told you. The Flare Blitz was the correct play. The world shut their ears. <laughs> but the world shut their ears. Oh, this isn't going to KO, is it? All right, crit. You're faster than the Kyogre. You're an Adonis Incineroar. Oh, no. Burn? Perhaps? Gaming, in fact? Okay. Um, so here's the positives of what just happened. There are none. Actually, you know what? Uh, this is still doable. I go Thunderous here. And I attempt the Eerie Impulse on the Kyogre as to save my Pokemon and then bank on waking up. I'm already at plus two speed, so I can easily do everything I need to do from now on. Uh, and my play is going to be to Airstream you, Eerie Impulse you. Rage Powder, that's fine. That's fine. Because I can still Snarl and everything. I'm actually kind of hoping they Hailstorm here. That'd be really dumb of them to Hailstorm my Thunder... Or not my Thunderous, my um, Eveltal, but it'd be really cool. Max Geyser into Eveltal, please. Thunderous. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's cool. That's fine. That's We're gaming. We're gaming. Okay. Uh, now I spam Snarl and protect my Zacian. Yeah, no, I was actually planning on doing an Incineroar video, but it wasn't going to be about, like, 2019 Incineroar. It was going to be about Incineroar getting introduced with its ability in the middle of 2018 and how that changed the metagame entirely, how we had to have two separate usage things. All right, KO the Amoongus, please. All right, cool. Critical hit on the Kyogre. Gaming. Thank you. Kyogre Gaming. Max Geyser. Velta lives. Okay. This is going to be a really, really rough endgame. There's the Zacian. Alright. How's this going to go down? Which of us will, uh, will come out on top? No one knows. No one knows. Okay. Um, I give up. No, um, here's what I think my play is. I think I'm actually going to double down this Kyogre because I should be able to always KO it. We know it's not Scarf due to the fact it had Protect and Snarl into Play Rough might be optimal, but, um, Sucker Punch might be better. Sucker Punch does more. But Oblivion Wing also might save me from, like, a Behemoth Blade if they go for that. Uh, I'm going to Sucker Punch it. I'm going to double this thing, and if they end up targeting into my Zacian, I might be able to win. Okay, yeah, that should be in play rough range now. A Behemoth Blade, that's probably into my Zacian. I should live that. 
connect. This should KO. Okay. Rain stopped. Um, it's always optimal to go for the flinch here. I gotta get a Dark Pulse flinch to win, which I don't like. Or maybe they just target my, my Evel Paul. Thanks for the follow, Chaos. Dude, imagine if I had enough HP to go for a sub there. Alright, gotta go for the flinch. Flinch, 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 flinch. 30% chance to win. More like a 30% chance for gaming, right? They went for the... Dude, you're so greedy. You're so greedy. No, that was never the correct play. You had one shot and one opportunity to get everything you ever wanted, and you let it slip. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Luis. Okay, uh, let's see if I get the second flinch. I only need I only need a flinch here. Oh no, I win, I win, hundred percent critical hit. You have played. Who'd you target? If it's Eveltal, they threw. Dude, I just gotta I just gotta get another 30% chance to flinch. My strongest move here is still Dark Pulse. I only need to flinch you once. And so far you've given me three opportunities. No, I just win. Nice. I didn't even need the flinch. Just needed the crit. <laughs> <laughs> Just needed the crit. Okay. This is a certified hood classic. Nothing on this team beats Eveltal, so we're gonna just do that. Actually, wait, no, no, no. I wanna have fun. I wanna have fun. I've opt- uh, mm, no. Alright, I'm gonna go Eveltal Blastoise, and we'll decide on if we're having fun or not if they lead off with the, um... No, what am I saying? Eveltal Thunderous is always optimal. Blastoise. I was gonna say, like, if they bring the Gastrod on, then I just don't Dynamax it, but it's better just to get the Rain Dance off and snarl. They don't even have Restricteds. You know it would be really cool? If in Pokemon Unite they added a character that's kind of like Ice Climbers, but it's just the two Indeedees, and you just switch which one you control. I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay. Special attack boost so I can reduce it. Attack? Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna Snarl here. And I am going to Thunder Wave here. If they're real, they're running special attacking Aegislash, since it's a lot better than physical in this format. There's no way he's wide guarding here. There's no way. Connect the Thunder Wave, no wide guard. Yeah, sleep's more common than taunt in this format. Watch them be choice banded Iron Head. Destiny Bond? Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be attacking you next turn, sir. Yeah, we're just not. Ice beam. Don't freeze me. Okay, thank you. Uh we're gonna ignore you. We're also gonna Thunder Wave you. They are gaming. No fun. Only flinches. I didn't realize this. We have 125 viewers. 
without like raids or anything. Thank you. How many of you guys are new to the channel because you found me through my VGC lore video and subscribed and then saw the community post? Let me know. How many of you guys are here from that? And you still got it off. The disrespect, honestly. No way you're new video game, Shay. I was in your stream like five, four hours ago. Okay. I'm just going to sucker punch you. I'm just done with you. And I'm going to Thunderbolt you too. I'm new, but I'm not from that. Gotcha. Question. Can you guys tell that I'm from the Midwest from how I speak? Is that a thing? Because the other day, someone was like, Marcos, I can tell you're from the Midwest because you say every bit of the word when you speak. And I'm like... Yeah, that's how you talk. <laughs> Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> oh, like a while back on your Twitch from YouTube, sick. Champion Eclipse, thanks for the follow. You sound like you're from the radio. You know, I, I, it's funny because I've never been told I have a radio voice in real life. Only from YouTubers, or only from YouTube have I been told that. And I think that's because you guys know I do YouTube. Okay, this is going to be an experiment. I'm pretty confident I can win anyway, so this is just an experiment. I always forget if Gastrodon being a ground type is immune to Eerie Impulse, so I'm just going to click it. It's not. Okay, yeah, I forgot. I always forget that interaction. How do you pronounce Crayon? Crayon. I think when I was younger I said Crayon. But I say Crayon. Ice Beam. Prepare to do six damage. Uh, you did, uh, you did, oh, you, you did a lot more emotional damage. That was, uh, that was more emotional damage than anything. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this over with. Here we impulse you again. Emotional damage. <laughs> okay, you're at minus four. You're not doing damage to me anymore. I'm special defensive. You're paralyzed, and you're doing six. Six damage is my prediction. Okay, you hit the thunderous. Don't. Okay. I was actually legitimately concerned there. We've reached a point where I'm just done. I'm just done with this game. I'm gonna go ahead and play rough you. And I'm gonna eerie impulse you. I'm just done with this game. I'm done. You know, I'm just I'm done. I don't I don't wanna play this one anymore. They need to change freeze to frostbite and scarlet and violet. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I think it needs to be frostbite. It's such a more balanced mechanic. Charizard, the battle champion, who will also get Eerie Impulse this turn. Fun fact. And now you're also not KOing my Zacian. Lakus, thank you for the follow. You got so much Ice Beam on this team, dude. Dude! Stop it! I'm reporting you. I'm reporting your team. Okay, that's within... If that was... If that did that much to... from If it took that much from Play Rough, it's within Behemoth Blade range. That's within Behemoth Blade range now. Um, I may as well Thunderbolt. Yeah, no, I prefer Sleep over Drowsiness. I prefer Sleep over Drowsiness for sure. I don't like that it's a roll, you know? Where can I get a Serene Grace P2 like that? Alright, so you run Trace and switch in on a Togepi. It has to be a Togepi, though. No Togekiss allowed. And... Charizard privileges revoked. Thank you. 
Charizard Wall Zacian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Explosion, thank you for the follow. There's the trick room. Um, I am going to continue clicking Eerie Impulse on your on your Gastrodon, and you're gonna deal with that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna fight fire with fire. Or rather, ice with ice. Prepare to be ice beamed aggressively. With extreme prejudice. Sunday's just chilling. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Ice Beam. Definitely about to get Earth Powered. Live in that. Earth Power, yep. This is now my responsibility to go for the Max Hailstorm. Actually, is it better to yawn here? I think it's better to yawn. It's better to yawn in the long run. Just to make sure I get a few free turns. Thunderous remains frozen solid, remains useless. Oregon paralyzed, useless. Ice beam, that's gonna go into the Thunderous. I get my yawn off, and I'm gaming. Aggressively. Quagsire is pretty good versus Zacian. Shame it's pretty poopy versus literally everything else. Big true. Big true. That's that's very true. Okay, uh, my optimal play now is to max hailstorm this <laughs> this uh, Gastrodon and protect. Yeah, this is this stream's doing pretty good today. I'm really happy I got a lot of viewers. And dice throw. I missed your follow, but thank you for that. Max hailstorm. Protect because you fall asleep next turn, and then I play rough you, and it's good. Did you get partner yet? No, because I took like two weeks off of streaming to focus on school. I guarantee you, the day that we get partner is going to be in the middle of the summer this summer. It's it's probably going to be in the middle of the summer because I won't be in college anymore. And I'm going to have a full-time job that doesn't have a sporadic work schedule. I'm going to be working a 9 to 5 for the first time in my life, I'm sure. Wow, uh, don't paralyze me. Okay, cool. So yeah, here is, I have, I'm a person with very basic needs and those needs have never been fulfilled in my life. I'm a person who needs to work a nine to five job that allows me to get home at 5.30, stream from 5.30 to 7.30 and not work on the weekends. And when I'm home, my free time is my free time. That's something I've never experienced in my life due to the fact that um, I have always worked at like laborer positions. Like I would unload the truck at Walmart. I would landscape during the summer. I would work for a rental company and set up tents and stuff. And those jobs would be like 6 a.m. to like 9 p.m. at certain times, especially the landscaping one. Like that was a very rough job. Uh, and that would absorb all of my time. Couldn't do YouTube. Uh, and that was during the summer. And during the school year, I have a part-time job on top of all the classes I'm taking. So what I'm looking for in my life is stability. I want an apartment or a house with two rooms in it. Two bedrooms. One to sleep in. One to make videos in. And do other various work. That is the only thing I want out of my life. And also a job. That's all I want is stability. Because everything... When you're in college... Everything changes all the time, like every single day, like one day is never the same as the previous and it's never in like a super good way. It's always in like a, oh, hey, what novelty, but sometimes I want it to be the same, you know? Yeah, like last name Jenkins, I'd imagine the best part of the nine to five, which sounds weird. I'm sure many people don't like the thought of working, you know, eight to nine hours a day. I think the, the the fulfilling part about finally getting a 9 to 5 position is security and the fact that you know when you're free. I am free from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. every night.
and on the weekends all day like that that's the dream <laughs>